Assalamualaikum and very good morning girls. Okay, so let's continue our lesson today with the 12.2 nervous system. The 12.2 nervous system is the second subtopic in the chapter, chapter 12. Yeah, okay, so let's go to the learning standards that you have to cover for today. Okay, number one, construct an organizational chart yeah, and explain the structures of the human nervous systems yeah, that consists of the central nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord and then a peripheral nervous system yeah, that consists of the sensory receptor, cranial nerve yeah, and also the spinal nerve. Okay, so that is referred to the structures of the human nervous system. And then number two, explain the function of the parts of the uh, of in the central nervous system. Yeah, in a part of the central nervous system, they are related to coordination and response. Okay, so you have to uh, care uh, to find out uh, the functions of the brain yeah, of the brain that refer to the structure of the cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla oblongata, hypothalamus, yeah, pituitary gland. Yeah. And then uh, the other uh, parts of the central nervous system is spinal, spinal cord. Okay, and last one, communicate about the functions of parts of the peripheral nervous system in coordination and response. Okay, so that is referred to the learning standards that you have to cover for today. It's all about the nervous system. All right. Okay. Now let's take a look on the human nervous system. Yeah, the structure of the human nervous system. Yeah, human nervous system can be divided. It can be divided into two. Okay, what are they? First is central nervous system. A central nervous system. Okay, that consists of the brain. Right. That consists of the brain. And second one is spinal cord. Okay, so this is referred to the spinal cord. Yeah, spinal cord adalah saraf tunjang kita. Yeah, saraf tunjang kita. Yeah. Okay, so these are referred to the components of the central nervous system. Yeah, brain and spinal cord. Okay, so the second one. Yeah, the second system is peripheral nervous system. Yeah, peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system consists of cranial nerve. Yeah, cranial nerve, okay, also located in the brain and also spinal nerve. Okay, spinal nerve is comes out from the spinal cord. Okay, that are referred to the spinal nerve. Alright, so you have to know that human nervous system, the structures of the human nervous system can be divided and can be divided into two systems. Okay, what are they? Central nervous systems that consist of the brain and spinal cord. And second one is a peripheral nervous system that consists of cranial nerve and spinal nerve. Okay, then the peripheral nervous system connects yes, sensory receptors and receptors to the central nervous system. Right, so the peripheral nervous system will connect all the sensor, all the receptors yeah, to the central nervous system. Yeah. Okay, so make sure you can identify the structure of the human nervous system. Okay, make sure you can identify. So this is referred to the brain. Yeah, refer to the brain, and this is referred to the spinal cord. Yeah, spinal cord. And then okay, in the peripheral nervous system, there are cranial nerve. Okay, cranial nerve is uh, referred to the nerve that comes out from the brain. Yeah, comes out from the brain. Whereby the spinal nerve referred to the nerve that comes out from the spinal cord. So all of these are spinal nerve. Yeah, all of these are spinal nerve. Yeah, because uh, all this nerves are comes out from the spinal cord. Alright, so now let's go to the brain. Alright, okay, so the brain, yeah, the brain. Do you know that our brain is made up of more than 100 billion of neurons? Yeah, more than 100 billion of neurons. It's just not one neuron in our brain. 
but a hundred billions. Yeah, there are too much, right? Okay, so what is the brain? Brain is referred to the coordination and control center. Coordination center and also control center for the humans. Yeah, for the humans. Okay, so the main components of the brains are okay, yeah, so we take a look on the components of the brain. Okay, what are they? They are consists of okay, they are consists of about one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five components of the brain. Okay, the first one is cerebrum. Cerebrum. Then second one is cerebellum. Yes, yeah, cerebellum. Okay, so I am so sorry for the uh, spelling here. Yeah, should be E, not U. Yeah, should be E. Cerebellum. Yeah, cerebellum. And then here is referred to the medulla oblongata. This is referred to the medulla oblongata. And here referred to the pituitary gland. Yeah, pituitary gland. Okay. And last one is hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is here. Yeah, hypothalamus. So this is referred to the five main components of the brain. What are they? Cerebrum, cerebellum, medulla oblongata, pituitary gland, and hypothalamus. Okay, so now let's go uh, one by one to the components of the brain. Okay, we go first to the cerebrum. Cerebrum. The largest and most complex parts of the brain. Yeah, the largest, yeah, largest part and most complex part of the brain. The center to interpret information. Yeah, center to interpret information from receptors and control the movement of skeletal muscles in voluntary action. Yeah, so the function of the cerebrum uh, refer to the center to interpret information and also will control the movement yeah, in, of skeletal muscle in voluntary action or in other words control the voluntary action okay, and also the side of intelligence yeah, the side of the intelligence yeah, examples are learning speech remembering and also reasoning Okay, so this is referred to the cerebrum. Yes, yeah, cerebrum referred to the largest and most complex part of the brain. So in the cerebrum, the information is interpreted, yeah, interpreted, and it uh, it also control the voluntary action. And okay, and also is referred to the side of intelligence. Yeah, for the human. Okay, next we go to the cerebellum. Okay, cerebellum. Okay, so which one is cerebellum? So this is referred to the cerebellum. Yeah, cerebellum. Okay. Oh, so the cerebellum here coordinates muscle contraction during body movement. Yeah, okay, contract muscle contraction during body movement. Alright, okay, and then controls body balancing controls body balancing yeah, during we walk yeah, so the cerebrum will carry out the function to control our body balancing okay and then medulla oblongata so this is referred to the medulla oblongata yeah controls involuntary action yeah controls involuntary action such as heartbeat blood circulation and also breathing Okay, what is referred to the uh, involuntary action? Uh, refer to the uh, action that we are not aware. Yeah, we are not aware yeah, that occur inside the in, the in the body, or we are not control it. Right. Okay. So that is referred to the involuntary action, and also as reflex center, as reflex center. Okay. So, example, blinking of eyes, yeah, sneezing, and also coughing. Yeah? So, this is referred to the reflex action. So, medulla oblongata uh, is a reflex center. Uh, reflex center. Okay. Next, we go to the pituitary gland. So, this is referred to the pituitary gland. Yeah? 
the pituitary gland is master of gland yeah master of gland uh, it secretes hormones yeah it secretes hormones that influence other glands yeah? control body functions such as growth osmo regulation and reproduction so pituitary gland we are we will we'll discuss um, more about that yeah? in detail about that in the endocrine yeah? in the endocrine system okay and then last one last components of the brain is hypothalamus okay so this is referred to the hypothalamus hypothalamus is very important in maintaining homeostasis okay maintaining homeostasis okay what is a homeostasis it is a regulation yeah okay regulation of what we will discuss it more in our next subtopic yeah and sorry next chapter yeah? in the next chapter Okay, hypothalamus is a center for regulating hunger. Yeah, regulate the hunger, the thirst, the body temperature, and also water balance. Yeah, control the release of several hormones from the pituitary gland. Okay, that is referred to the hypothalamus. Okay, please, at least you remember one function of the every component of the brain. At least one. Yeah, at least you can remember one function of the every component of the of the brain okay next we go to the spinal cord yeah, spinal cord and yeah, spinal cord so brain and spinal cord is a component of the central nervous system okay so spinal cord yeah dalam bahasa melayunya adalah uh, saraf tunjang yeah saraf tunjang so where is the spinal cord located? Okay, it is located within, yeah, within the vertebral column, yeah, within the vertebral column, and surrounded by cerebral spinal fluid. Okay, so what is a vertebral column? Vertebral column refer to the our backbone, yeah, our backbone. So in our backbone, there is a spinal cord, and yeah, there is spinal cord that surrounded by cerebral spinal fluid okay so the spinal cord is made up of white matter and gray matter yeah white matter and gray matter okay so gray matter comprise cell bodies yeah gray matter comprise of cell bodies of the neuron while white matter consists of axons yeah covered in myelin sheath yeah of the neuron okay so what is the function of the spinal cord okay before that we go to the structure of the spinal cord so this is refer to the spinal cord here yeah, refer to the spinal cord okay so this is our backbone or vertebral column yeah the grayish color here yeah, refer to the our backbone or vertebral column so uh, inside our vertebral column there is a spinal cord so this is referred to the spinal spinal cord a spinal cord consists of the white matter and gray matter. So in the middle here, in the center here, uh, the shape is look like H yeah, or butterfly here. Yeah? It is a gray matter. Yeah, gray matter. And here, yeah, okay, outside of the gray matter here is referred to the white matter. Yeah, okay, so this is referred to the uh, components of the spinal cord. Yeah, it's made up of white matter and also a gray gray matter all right okay so what is the function of the spinal cord yeah why the spinal cord is very important because it process a few types of sensory information and send response through the motor neurons okay and then it will control reflex action okay spinal cord will control our reflex action yeah? our reflex action yeah such as when we touch the hot kettle okay so when we touch the hot kettle so that um uh, response will be carried out by the spinal cord all right okay uh, that uh the, the spinal cord will uh will process and yeah? process the information and will trigger a response yeah so it will control the reflex action and yeah? the spinal cord will control the reflex action and connect the brain with the peripheral nervous system. Okay, spinal cord will connect the brain with the peripheral nervous system. Okay, what is the peripheral nervous system? 
it is consists of the cranial nerve and also spinal spinal nerve okay so that are refer to the function of the spinal cord all right okay now let's take a look on the functions yeah the detailed functions of the spinal cord structure yeah the detailed function of the spinal cord uh, structure so this is referred to the spinal cord structure yeah spinal cord structure so you have to know that spinal cord is located uh, within the within the uh, vertebral column Okay, or within our backbone, yeah, within our backbone. So we already discussed just now that spinal cord consists of yeah, gray matter. Okay, here I refer to the gray matter and also white matter. So this is referred to the white matter. Yeah, white matter. So the gray matter, gray matter consists of the cell bodies of the neurons. Yeah? So there are a lot of the cell bodies here. In both sides, yeah, left and right side. Okay, a lot of the cell bodies in the gray matter, and white matter contains myelin sheath yeah, of the neurons. Yeah, myelin sheath of the neuron. Okay, so let's take a look on the structure again. Okay, yeah, structure of the spinal cord. Okay, the spinal cord also consists of okay, this root. Okay, so this is referred to the dorsal root. So this is a refer to the dorsal root. Yeah, dorsal root. Okay. So the dorsal root contains yeah, or have dorsal root ganglion. Yeah, okay, contains uh, or have a dorsal root ganglion. Yeah, ganglion refer to the uh, a part of the dorsal root which is swollen, uh, which is swollen part. Okay. And then this is referred to the ventral root. Yeah, ventral root. Okay, so what is inside the dorsal root? Okay, the dorsal root contains axon, yeah, axon of the sensory neuron that send nerve impulse to the spinal cord from the sensory receptor. Okay, so this is referred to the sensory receptor from the sensory organ. Okay. So what happened in the sensory organ? Uh, the sensory receptor will detect the changes, yeah, detect the stimuli and convert it into the nerve impulse. And the nerve impulse will be carried or will be sent to the spinal cord yeah, through sensory uh, neuron. Yes, yeah, so through the sensory neuron. Yeah, to the uh, to what? To the spinal spinal cord or integration center okay so the sensory neuron will uh, enter into the spinal nerve here okay so this is referred to the spinal nerve and will go through the dorsal root yeah we go through the dorsal root and enter into the gray gray matter here okay so uh, so what is inside the dorsal root ganglion there are uh, cell bodies of the sensory neuron. Yeah, there are cell bodies of the cell neuron. That's why it looks like swollen because contain a lot of the cell bodies of the sensory neurons. Okay, and then okay when the uh, impulse is sent to the gray matter. Okay, so in the gray matter. So here there is a interneuron or relay neuron. Yeah, so then now. Uh, the impulse will be sent to the interneuron or relay neuron in the gray matter and the interneuron will send to the motor neuron okay. and then the motor neuron will carry the impulse and will sell the impulse to the e effector to the effector so this is referred to the effector okay so and the uh, the, the, the 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 motor neuron must yeah, must yeah, must go through the ventral ventral root here. Yeah. I must go through the ventral root of the spinal cord and then we go to the spinal nerve and will be uh will be reached to the uh, E factor. Okay, so what is inside the ventral root contains motor neuron. Yeah, that send nerve impulse from the spinal cord to the E E factor. Okay, so 
this is referred to the uh, structure of the spinal cord and also its function. Yes, spinal cord consists of the grey matter, white matter. Okay, this is referred to the dorsal root. Yeah, dorsal root, and this is referred to the ventral root. Okay, what is inside the dorsal root? It contains the sensory neuron. It contains the axon, axon of the sensory neurons. Yeah. So in the dorsal root, there are dorsal root ganglion. Yeah, it is a swollen part of the dorsal root that contains cell bodies of the neurons. Okay, and then so this is referred to the ventral root. Ventral root contains motor neuron. Yeah, so the motor neuron uh, will send the impulse to the e effector. Okay. So that are referred to the structure of the spinal cord and its function. Okay, I hope you can understand the structure of the brain and also the structure of the spinal cord. Yeah, they are important in our human nervous system. Okay, I think that's all for now. So please uh, read again and again and do your revision until you do really understand about this. Okay, so stay safe everyone. Thank you.